Welcome to Rust. Today, we're playing with large. It hasn't been too long since we played last, but you guys, you know, absolutely love the guy. So here we are again, just me and him. This is a Friday wipe server and the server is full. We're playing the same server we duoed on last time. It just seemed to go really well, you know? So as you guys remember, it was like one of my luckiest wipe days ever. So yeah, I mean, we're going to try it again and see, see where it takes us. I do want to quickly say though, that I am just absolutely stunned to see how well my last video did. We have like 2 million views within a week. You guys killed it with the likes, the comments, just the overall support. And it's, you know, I've been gone for so long. It's just kind of amazing to see that. So I really do appreciate it guys from the bottom of my heart. And uh, hopefully this run goes well. Uh, where do you want to live? Uh, dude, outpost water treatment. Like, you read my mind. Bottom right, Q14. Yeah, I think that would be good. All right, I'm making my way to outpost. Um, do you know what the current meta is? No. All right, Lars, that's no problem. Let me educate you real quick. First, get a stone node, a tree and um as many barrels and crates as you can on your way to outpost you recycle it all and you buy 250 metal frags with 25 of the scrap and then you use 15 more scrap to make a nail gun and you make a crossbow as well and cross your nail gun from outpost to wherever you go and you're set that is the meta Repeat that one more time. Okay. After Large and I met up at Outpost, I geared him up and we headed to our desired base location. But right as we were leaving, we heard the Outpost turrets firing at some hostiles. Someone's getting beamed right here. Someone's getting beamed. What the? He's, he, he's probably dead. Oh, here he is. Oh my God. Oh, they're loaded. Oh my. No shot, dude. That's free. It's not crazy, but it's free. Like, why? Now let's go to our build spot. Dude, yeah, these guys are just fucking lagging all over, dude. Guy right Get behind that. me, geared, 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 on the road, on the road, geared. Hit him. Nice. That's why you do the nail gun, baby. Yes, sir. We're getting rushed by a group of nakeds. Oh, no. One dead. Pretty much all dead. There's someone right here, right here, in front of us. Yeah. I missed him. Hit him. He's trying to place a bag. No. Yeah, he's dead. So wow, laggy. this is so laggy. Again. It's all of our system. Hope you die, guys. So fucking virus. <laughs> Poor oh guy. <laughs> um, right here looks really, really nice. Like not right where I'm standing, but like right down in that valley. Right down in right here right in this valley. Yeah. Not bad at all, dude. Yeah. With the base set up, it was time to get familiar with the area. He's got a crossy, I think. Hit him. Hit him. I shot him. Hit him. He's low. He's lagging. Oh, he's down. Nice. Not bad. Juicy. There's active furnaces in this 2x2 two two right here. Two sheet metal doors. Maybe even three. I hear him in there. Hey, outside. Yeah, about to be right out. Is he I'm fucking low. you up? Yeah. Down. I don't know why I can't hit him. I can't hit him for the life of me, dude. I couldn't hit him either. I only hit him with two nails. I'm respawning right now. No. No, oh, no, I just, uh, I just killed you. Uh. Large may have just accidentally killed me, but he was about to clutch up big time. I'm going to peek this. All right, go for it. 
Hit one, hit one. Nice. Hit one running close and uh, has you. Yeah, yeah, he's running up hell again. I'm pushing right. Hit has you again, he's down. Nice. One dead and one one HP. Down one, he's, the other one's up. He's pushing me. Put another. On me. Oh my god. No! What? Oh my god, fuck these rocks. Another one. Kill them! Nice! <gasps> Wow, good shit, man. I had a bag right there, picked up across you with two arrows and hit both. Nice. I, just I, can't, even, I can't even hit a down player. I mean, my arrows are like literally going up uh, over and around these people, dude. I feel like I'm playing Sova on the wrong game. <laughs> Large got us quite a few kits to fall back on, which was good because the PvP just kept on coming. They see us. I hit him. There's a no nomad suit above him. Kill them. Yeah, yeah, Soul he's on the uh, node. He's dead. Another crossbow. He missed me. He's in the electrical outpost pushing I see in. Him, I see him. Two of them, two of them. I'm really low. I'm so low. I'm 12 HP. I'm 1 HP. I might bleed. I'm, I'm yep. bled. No. That guy's cracked at the game. I, I gotta leave. I'm pushing on your left. Oh, good luck. They're looting me. One's on me right now. No. I headshot one. I believe. Hit one. I'm so I'm so close. One pushing. Uh, one nail gun left side. Nail gun left side. Close, close on you. So close. Yep. I'm here. I'm here. Drop something. Drop something. Anything. 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 Crossy. It's not loaded. He's shooting at me. He missed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. We had the double. I'm down. Dead. Nice. I'm downed out here in the bush. Crawling to you. Good shit, dude. Let's go. I'm so low. Uh, I have a combat knife if you want to try and kill this bear. Uh, I mean, oh, do you see fuck. this airdrop right here? 310. To your left. Ooh. Is that called? Yeah, it is. I don't know if we have enough time because I need a depot first. Go depot. I'll hold it down. I don't have anything too crazy. All right. While I depoted what we got from that fight, Large intercepted that airdrop, getting an M9 pistol and two satchels. The airdrop was called in right on top of that 2x2 I mentioned was active earlier. It was fully stone with sheet metal doors, except for one wooden wall. We knew that this oversight wouldn't be exploitable for long, so we came up with a plan. It takes three satchels to blow a wooden wall, but we only had two, so we'd use the Yokas to whittle down the rest of the HP. If these guys had an airdrop to call in, they must have had other valuable stuff as well. So once when we grouped up, we headed over with everything to do our first raid of the wipe. Did you hear about that, uh, that school kidnapping? Uh, it's no. It's okay, he woke up. Uh, you're gonna go study abroad? What's her name? Alright, let's do this. Just start doing it. I'm gonna throw satchels on. Fast. Yeah. It's a lot of doors. Oh, it's TC. He's dead. Is that door open? Uh, we gotta break this TC like no, right now. Just to get no, through. he had the, he's down so we can close. Uh, he, he literally picked up all the resources and just went in there. Go in there, go in there. We can pick in, I guess. Oh, blue card, red card. Yeah, nice. So. Coming, 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 coming. 
one's dead. Well dead. Dead, dead, dead. I think he's dead in I think he's dead in the airlock, man. We just need to seal the front and break these bags. Kill them. Oh nice. my god, he had everything. Okay, nice. What the fuck? This guy had a rose stone with a spear, like why? That guy opened door with everything? Yep. I mean, this guy had all the TC loot. Like, I think it's just like, I think it's better to just say that, or just let it decay. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. For now, I think that we just depot and come back to this later. We have TC and they can't get back in, so there's no worries, you know? Yeah, true. Let's go push that guy real quick. That guy's a beamer. I hit him three times. Oh, bro, look at his body. No, uh, -uh. what Bruh. is that? Bro, he's got a jacket. <laughs> no shot. What the fuck is this? We are getting bowed at by the whole server right now. That's why he was fighting for his life, dude. 800 cloth. I wonder if he Chainsaw? had the rest of the stuff. No, like, no, no, like no he, way, he no dipped way. out. What is that? I don't know, dude. I'm going to push out here after I heal. I am dead by three Revos. Oh my. Yeah, there's four. And coming back from base. I'm getting hit by M9. Oh, I'm 12. I mean, my sounds are busted, dude. We lost the M9 in the end, but for everything else we profited from the raid and the counters, this was all well worth it. After we transferred loots, I did a small bit of expanding and some farming to fill up our furnaces. We also just had enough scrap from all of this to research med and make a tier 2 workbench. All we needed now was a decent tier 2 gun. Are you shooting? Yeah, I'm Revo over by water. There's Tommy here now. I'm Dude, close. I'm come close. over here. I see him. He's on the top of the rock, right? Or is that you? Yeah, yeah on top of the rock. Excuse me. Four times. I shot him. Hit him down. Let's go. Nice. Tommy is huge. If that's like, if that's got a hollow on it, that's huge. Another, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Tommy, another Tommy. He's, I he's got peeking it, I got down it. on you. He's right above you. Right above you. Peeking now. Twice on him. I'm really low on ammo too. There's another one coming up on Tommy. Tommy just killed him. Oh, he's shooting at Tommy right now. He's distracting him. Yeah, I'm wrapping really wide. I mean... No, no, there's a SAR right ahead of me. Tell your life. I'm Double SAR? Go I, I, I'm really far away from Tommy, and I'm about to loot SAR and then just get out of here, I think. Yeah, go for it. I'll, I'll try and clean up the base, or the, the rest of the stuff. Dude, these guys got minis on their roof and everything. I'm gonna leave the Tommy in base and go to Water Street with SAR to recycle. And then with the stuff to recycle that we recycle, I think we'll have enough to craft, you know, whatever we want and research whatever we want. That was a huge fight, securing us both a Tommy and a SAR. Thompson, when paired with Hollow, is an OP combo at this stage of the game. And to research them, we just needed more scrap. 
The plan was to head back to water treatment to recycle our extra components, but something crazy happened instead. <coughs> oh, fuck. Oh my lord, are you okay? Sneezed. Wait, there's flashlights here. There's flashlights at the roller building. They might be doing key card. There's one at the key card too. Yep, they are. They totally are. Okay. They're getting beamed. I'm coming. Close. Hit him. Really low. Literally a one shot right below you. Right below the stairs. He's dead. Nice. I'm responding on the road. I'm pretty close. There's so many. There's so many. Play your life. I'll get a gun. They have an AK. AK. I'm going to bleed out. Yeah, I'm dead here. I killed AK! One more, dude! Fuck me! I'm close. I'm close. I might be able to make a play. I died, like, underneath. Please! No! Just as I got the star! Yeah, they picked AK. I'm going back with it's Tommy. The, it's the same kids with, um... Yeah, I know. With Tommy. Alright, I have to come with, uh, Crossy. I mean, the best chance we serve is I kill one of you, loot him pretty much anyway, so... Yeah. Yeah, there's so many teams because that they are definitely not the guys who came originally. So someone no, came with double Tommy and killed a Tommy solo taking it. And then this group showed up with AK fucking custom. I see AK. Oh no. He's still holding on that wall. Yeah, okay. Headshot him! Headshot hit him! He dropped in. He dropped in. He dropped in. Yeah, the, I, know, the I know, I know, I I'm getting crossbowed. It's from in the building. Yeah, I know. Yeah, got him. Nice! Oh my god, he has a long sword. I'm gonna kill die. Guy, kill this guy. I have to drop in the, in the tunnel real quick. What am I getting shot by? Like, I'm just getting shot by nobody right now. Literally, that was the best naked I've ever fought in my life. Um, we just need to go. Yeah. I'm making sure we have everything. Dude, I don't know if you have any meds or bandages, but. I have 49 Here. HP with an AK take right this, now. Take this, take this. One bandage? <laughs> That's all I have. <laughs> oh, God. Dude, what just happened again? We got back home with an AK and a couple of extra kits. Plus, most of our components we went there with originally. This was a huge win once again, but this fight wasn't over just yet. We headed over again with some less valuable kits to make sure the coast was clear before attempting to recycle again. Well, yeah, we need to research Tommy Hollow, but we need to recycle, which is what that was there, but we died. I mean, luckily, yeah. I think we got most of the shit back. Another AK? AK here again. There's two of them. AKLR. Oh my god, I think I'm about to make a play on one. I'm like literally right below you, so... Oh my god, I might make a massive play right now. Kill them! No way. LR hit three times? Another three times? He's in that building? I don't know if he's downed. I think he is! I think he is! I think he closed the door while downed. Yep, dead. Nice! LR. Dude, we need to fucking leave again. <laughs> There's no way you just killed an AK with a nail gun in their crossbow. That guy is so fucking mad. Yeah. So you may have noticed that we've been stealing a lot of loot from this lean guy. They just never seemed to run out of gear, and it was good gear too. We were up two AKs, an LR, and a couple of other guns from this fight already. And on top of it, we knew where they lived. If we were to lose out big to these guys, knowing where they lived was a huge advantage in case we'd be looking for revenge. But before we had time to process having one enemy, we were quick to make some more. I mean, I just don't want to roam with this, like, 
it's too soon. I mean, the recycle, I'll take LR. Two hazies outside. Geared. You ready to make enemies, dude? Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Dead, both dead. Nice. What is this guy's name? It's like Krishika and then like Regika over here. Dude, what the fuck? It's <laughs> right outside our base. Oh my god, there is so many fucking bows in here. I do have a brain and two eyes, luckily. Okay, um, we just need a little bit of stone, and then this base will be in a state where we can just be confident in it for a while. It's a, oh god. Stars on me. I have two stars on me. I just killed one one star full. I'm just coming to you. Is that you that just shot at me, suppressed? No, 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 no. Silence bolty, I see him. Uh, up on the hill for me, northeast. Oh god. I'm so fucked. I'm so fucked, it's unbelievable. I can I can I can flank uh bolty maybe. There's two. Three. I'm nine HP. One dead. One dead. I think another one's right on me. Yeah, yeah, right on me. Shooting at him. Tagged him once. Right on you. I know. I need to reload. It's still AIDS. I'm gonna fucking kill this kid. Dead, dead. Nice. Other star right on me. You hit 6,500 times. He's running at the power line. He's... Holding power line and him again. I'm coming, I'm he's coming. on your side. Hit him like he's probably dead. I think he's no, he's not. I'm really close. Give me one sec, one sec. Kill them. I'm, just, I'm hit by a suppressed bolty. I don't know by where. That should be the guy that you just killed. That no, should this, be him. this was one, but there's another one somewhere. I see him. I missed him. He's up the hill. Hit him. Right at that like little formation. Oh, yep, yep. He's peeking. He's dead. He's dead. Nice. Let's go, dude. Dude, what the fuck? I am so loaded, by the way. Like, the guy I killed had, uh, like, two rows of farm on him as well. I'm gonna risk it. If you can try and cover me from uh, the hill. I don't see anyone, so... I think you're okay. You see where I'm going, right? That body? I actually don't. Oh, God. I can't see him. I'm down. I'm dead. You're... He met the base. I hit, I hit him. Nice. No, they're just gonna loot your body, man. That, I did. I, I had no idea that that body was eight kilometers away. I thought it was like way closer than that. Yeah, they just lived there and they looted your body and went in. I mean, whatever he had is just gone. So although Large died with his inventory, the fight was still profitable from the players I killed and looted. I used all of the stone I farmed from that run to get the base upgraded, and then I organized our boxes a bit. We were actually pretty loaded, seeing as we were only a few hours into the wipe. And you know the day was popping off when you have nearly two boxes of crossbows and nail guns. But we were past this stage. These weapons were no longer useful to us. So instead of just throwing them away, we decided to build a shop right outside of Outpost and sell them. For now, we sold them for stone, and it quickly proved to be a lucrative business. But it was around now that Large hopped off, as he wasn't feeling well. So that left me with the rest of the night to fortify the base more and maybe knock out a few tasks solo. Holy fucking shit. So dumb.
I saw that coming. Oh my god, Tommy Hollow is busted. Well, GG's. Yeah, these guys ain't messing around, dude. I think they live on the shore. Uh it's I don't I don't think it's lean, just based off the direction they kept coming from. I think it's uh some other group. After that 3v1, I went back towards the area to try and find their base. They kept coming back fast and with guns. That really only leaves one possibility, this base near the shore. It was a potential raid target, but this wasn't the only port of interest out there. While I was there, I saw a boat, which was likely theirs. This was an opportunity I couldn't pass up, so I grabbed our keycards and used the boat to hit up small oil rig. Yep, I'm getting a fight here. Okay, good. It's just a SAR guy. <laughs> Later, kid. Nine, okay. What do we got? Ooh, AK, pretty much it. Not bad at all. I'm just gonna make a bag and respawn here and get the shit. Literally the most random fucking naked. I'm pretty happy with that run. If I can get this home, I'd be very happy with this. Another AK, which which we're at three now. So like we can both roam AKs and die and we'll still have another one. After running rig, which got us another AK and explosive ammo, I did a quick farm run for some base upkeep. While I was out there, I actually checked on the base we raided. The room we didn't blow into was low health, so I broke it down to find out that there wasn't anything special left behind. It did however have some gears to add more garage doors, which I did. This was going to be me logging off for the night. But about an hour later I checked Rust Plus to see that my shop near Outpost had sold out. It was only one sheet metal door to the loot, so I wanted to move it all into our main base where it was more secure. It was 1 a.m. when I got on to do this, so the server should have been quiet. It should have been. He has a Tommy. This guy on his roof over here too. What what is happening at 1 a.m.? And he's probably pushing me. Like, fuck, man. A 
I mean, I wasn't expecting war. I'll be honest with you. Holy shit. The shop was still attracting customers, but now we needed scrap. So I swapped around the prices. Now I just had to run all this back home, but apparently this was easier said than done. No, uh Like, why? Nope, I'm dead. Oh my god, man. Like, why? I ran headfirst into a group farming. With so much on the line, I had to go back. Too much to loot, dude. No, no, there's no fucking way. There's no fucking way that just happened. Oh my god. All of that work lost to grubs with nail guns. No way that just happened. After putting in so much work and fighting my way to and from outpost, I lost it all to a couple of grubs. This made me go into a rage mode, killing everyone in the area to try and make back the loss. <sighs> wow. I, I have nothing to say other than wow. It is 125 A fucking M. Literally, I have never experienced so much fucking people at 1 AM. No, oh, fuck off. Wait, Pinto Bean. I think he actually lives in this fucking two by one. Did you bet your ass I am door camping this shit? I was pretty sure I found where the people who grubbed me lived, but it was hard to prove it. I sat outside their base for ages and nobody came out. It was likely just one sheet metal door for everything that I just lost, but I literally had eight explosive ammo to my name. I didn't even have it researched yet, but worse than that, I didn't have a tier three. There was no way in hell I was staying up to farm for that just based off of a hunch, and he could easily just move while I was out farming the base he was currently living in. So I was forced to log off that night on a tough loss. Hopefully I'd be able to make up for it tomorrow. That next morning, I was happy to find out that we weren't offline. But I wasn't happy to find out that the base of the people I suspected who grubbed me decayed overnight. Like I theorized, Pinto Bean must have known what was coming and moved to who knows where. This was a bitter realization, but our shop made up for it, as once again, it sold out. I was surprised with how much these spare crossbows and nail guns were actually making us. This scrap would contribute to a tier 3 so that we could do some raiding. And today, raiding was definitely our goal. The question was, who were we actually going to choose? Throughout the video, we've come across a lot of enemies. 
Lean, the duo we stole a bunch of weapons from in the beginning, Krishika and Regika, whose base we found during a fight for an airdrop, and the guys at Water Treatments I 3v1 last night, who likely lived in that base on the shore. One thing all of these guys have in common though is that we have yet to lose to them. It's not a revenge raid if you've been beating them all white. And revenge raids, they feel the sweetest. There just wasn't enough cause to motivate us to raid any of our enemies. But during our first roam of the day, what was supposed to be a quick and easy run, we'd end up finding a cause to raid somebody faster than we knew we would. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Nuh uh. I died. What happened? Why did they not get shot by outposts? Come with me. I'm respawning a base. Okay. It was right next to our shop. There was like a wooden base being raided. I killed one Tommy guy and then uh, Sar and a Tommy guy rolled up. Okay. It's that wooden base like right on the edge of the outpost, like kind of out in the open. They're right in front of me. I'm, I'm dead. Dead. I, I, I don't know why I can spray there. I'm going back. Right in front of us, right in front of us, right in front of us, to my right, to my, uh, coming right towards water. I see them. Hit one three times. One's full dead. I'm dead, there's so much. Okay, we're still alive and one's full dead. A headshot hit him, really low. I tried to hit him. Kill Tommy, but I'm out of meds and out of ammo. Hit him five times, but I'm dead. I'm taking out an AK for this dude. There's only one left. I, I, I doubled him, but I'm I'm tripled. I doubled the MP5, but he's not dead, and, he, and I'm tripled. Oh, I'm not giving up. I'm dead. Every time a gear set's lost, the stakes got higher. I couldn't let these guys slip away. They're still here. I'm hitting them a bunch of times. I don't know if you can respawn. Wait, they're running to the right. On me, come to me. One's really low. MP5. Nice, yeah, I'm on his body. I mean, I'm just dead. One dead. I don't know how I'm getting beamed in pitch darkness. Uh, I'm dead. And they just uh, took all of our guns. Three AKs, five Thompsons, and two SARS. Gone within the span of 10 minutes. I was absolutely tilted. Not only was this worse of a loss than last night's, but it pretty much felt like we just lost all of our progress from the wipe so far. Boganito, Goonbots, and Aim Punched. These were the names to remember. This was the group who gave us a cause. But with cause comes an effect. You really think we're going to roll over and let these guys get away with stealing an entire arsenal? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Before we could formulate any sort of plan though, we had to figure out where these guys lived. Following the trajectory of where these guys ran led us to a small ice lake base. With flashlights and footsteps inside, this had to be it. We could have door camped for a bit to make sure and maybe get a gear set or two back, but we didn't want to raise any alarms. Instead, we spent our time wisely. We needed scrap for a tier 3 so we could start crafting explosive ammo. So we ran the train system and recycled what we got at Outpost. With the tier 3 down and explosive ammo researched, it was time to scout their base to come up with a plan. Alright, I'm just gonna leave it in here for now. I wanna go check it out naked. And place like, at least three bags, dude. Like, this is pretty much all in, you know, so... Bro, it's like a... 
What is that? I don't even know if they have honeycombing yet. This might be an easier raid than we thought. It's music to my ears. It's just a circle. That's it. It's just a circle. What? With an coming arrow. over. <laughs> it might just be two sheet metal doors. You'll see what I mean though. Like, on the western side, there's just a sheet metal double door. And it's just an airlock that leads to, like, I guess, main door. Yeah, dude, you're, you're right. This is like a really small base. They don't seem active right now. They could be somewhere. We should like, we should just hit this now, man. Okay, I'm respawning up back at base. With a make it or break it raid like this one, we needed every advantage we could get. We noticed that cargo was out on the map while we were inspecting the base. Because the base was seemingly inactive, we figured that chances were they were at cargo. Starting the raid without any pushback was the advantage we needed. Who knows when an opportunity like this would present itself again. It was now or never. Cargo's getting looted. They might be on their way back soon, if they are on cargo. Oh, that's them. That's gotta be them. It is them. Oh my god, no way. Don't let them see you. Yeah, they're probably deep going. Let's crouch up. No way, there's another one. We gotta get up close. Okay, nice. he's in he's in a he's in the he's out, outside. Out, out front door, front door. I'm really low. Dead? I'm healing, I'm healing. Cover right side, cover right side. Naked spawned outside. Got him. I'm putting on this guy's armor. I got AK now. This could be huge. Uh loot the full kit if you can. Oh my lord. Oh my god, can we loot this and just leave maybe? Yeah, we come back. With the area quiet, we were getting ready to loot their bodies and then get out of there. But then I realized it. Or no, you know what? Fuck it. I think we blow it now, man. I think they're both on timers in there. Fuck. All right. The Did question is furnace? like, I think furnace, man. If they close that door though, we're fucked. All right. I'm getting... No way. Two, 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 two. Just three, I think. I'm letting normal 5-5. Five, five. I gotta shoot back at these kids. Oh, one's pushing close on us. Yeah. Healing again. This is scuffed. So scuffed. Custom dead. Custom dead. Yeah, one's at the truck right now. Yeah. Okay, I blew, I blew the door. I blew the door. I might just run in. Go for it. Okay, I'm in. There's a shoddy trap here, though. It's so open in here, dude. I need to blow, I need to blow shoddy trap. Just cover for now. I headshot that guy. Okay, it's broken. Run in here. Oh, he's shooting me. Hold on. Let me in. Let me in. Oh, let me in. yeah. Go, go, go. AFK guy! What? Oh my god! That scared the fuck out of me. Loot that AK. Armor. Ooh, shoddy trap right there. Careful. I don't know if it has anything in it though. We gotta blow armor door. I'll cover. Is there is there rockets? Yes, yeah, C4, C4. I'm throwing C4. So many guns. This is ridiculous. Just try start start blowing the door. Start blowing the door and I'll cover. This AK is gonna break. I got an M2. I got an M2. Take this. Take this. What? Fucking explode that. Man. Okay. Main loot, TC. Blow, blow uh, TC and I'll seal. Okay. TC's broken. Oh my god, bro. It is so seal, loaded seal. in here. Let's fucking go. Dude, look at these boxes. Oh my god. <laughs> look no at this. way. We didn't know TC. I got, I, I'm making TC, making TC. Oh, look in the drop box too. Oh my God. It is so, so many MR alerts. MR alerts. MR alerts. I don't even know what they are, bro. New TC down. Blow the sheet door. All right. Heads up. Yep. 
What the fuck? Oh my lord, dude. This is the juiciest small furnace base I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah. Despite things not entirely going to plan, Large and I came out on top. We were super lucky that one was AFK and even more lucky to find raid equipment scattered throughout the base so we could quickly secure it. After transferring all of the loot to an empty dropbox room and base, we really saw how much we got from this. Not only was it our way of getting back at these guys, but it was worth it too. And in case you're wondering, this loot didn't go to waste. As part of my Twitch livestream schedule, I was going to stream any raids using what was left over that next day. So if you're interested to see what happened, you can expect part two in a few days on my second channel. Unlike Frost, I'll actually post it. In all seriousness, thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, peace out.